This is Abe Friedhanser from CinemaDailyUS.com, and I'm thrilled to be speaking with Sharon Lawrence about her new show, Joe Pickett. How are you, Sharon? I'm well, Abe. Nice to meet you. You too. I'm a big fan of yours, and it's really great to get to be able to speak with you today. Thanks. That's nice to hear. Thank you. So what attracted you to this role, and how did your casting come about for this show? Well, a best-selling novel series is always interesting for an actor to be part of because you know there's the potential for longevity and you know that it's already beloved and um, you recognize that you've got a, a range of creators and an author in C.J. Box who's there to support the, um, the, the, the way we tell the story. Um, I thought the script was terrific. And Missy is such a bundle of contradictions that I knew that there would be a lot of layers to play. What aspects of yourself did you see in Missy and what was more challenging to, uh, to grasp onto? Uh, I, I'm very resilient as a person. Um, and so is she for different reasons. I'm not high maintenance like she is. I was a Girl Scout. I come from a really you know, middle class background. She, she has really, really high standards, but very low, low beginnings, um, which makes her inherently insecure and struggling for that, that, that status and that perception. Um, I ha have had just security in, in a loving family and I chose a risky field, but I always felt supported by my community. So we're really different, but, but, um, we are both resilient, and that's something that that I that I admire about her and all all women who are my generation. Because she grew, she like I grew up in a time frame where where um, parity and equality and um, living life uh, on your uh, as an independent person wasn't always embraced or supported. It was an aspiration, maybe in in some ways, but certainly our our, our societal structures didn't always support that. So um, I think she, I think a lot of people will relate to Missy. I know the women on the set really did. That's nice. And on a lighter note, I do enjoy the adversarial relationship between Missy and her son-in-law. Is that fun to play with uh, with Michael Dorman? It, it is, but I have to say, I'm such a fan of his. I, I fell in love with his acting in Patriot and For All Mankind. And he's completely different in this role, which is just a, a not a surprise because he is so amazing in his skill. He, he's, he's he's transformative actor. But as a person, he's such a love, kind, sweet, generous guy that all, I, I mean, I don't, I, I want to be able to share my love with him. And I do it offset all the time. But I trust him completely and we trust each other. So playing foes is great. You need that trust when you're gonna do that. But Sharon would just love to be able to play a scene where I, 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 my, my personal adoration can be translated. So you'll just have to wait for our Instagram stories to do that. And do you think that this is the kind of role you've played before or is this a departure for you? Oh, there, there are parts of her that I recognize the, the high maintenance, the sort of polish that I have played in other characters. But what's different about this is the, the tr there's a tragic underpinning. I played crazy people. She's not crazy. When I say crazy, I mean mentally ill. She's not mentally ill. She has an addiction problem. She has, she has an insecurity problem. Um, but I think that it's my job to to reveal the vulnerability. And I'm very grateful to, to have those levels to play. Yeah, that sounds great. Well, everyone should make sure to watch Joe Pickett when the first three episodes premiere on Spectrum on Monday, December 6th. Thank you so much for speaking with me today, Sharon, and looking forward to seeing more of you on this show and other projects. Thank you for helping us tell the world about Joe Pickett. It's nice to talk with you, Abe. You too.